Hey guys, so I'm going to explain how and why the derivatives of a to the x and log base a of x, why they are what they are basically. So let's just jump right into it. So if I want to figure out what the derivative of a to the x is, so a has to be some number greater than, than 0 and it can't be 1, just background. And we're going to actually leverage a little property of, this is, this is just a property of exponentials and logarithms, so this is a true fact. So since these two things are equal to one another, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to say, instead of finding the derivative of this, I'm going to find the derivative of its equivalent. And the reason that I want to find the derivative of this is that I know how to take the derivative of e to the x already, so I can leverage that knowledge. So if I want to take the derivative of this, I'm just going to use the chain rule, where my e to the x is the outermost function, and then this x times the natural log of a, that's my innermost function. So if I take the derivative of e to the x, that's just e, right? and then I leave the inside function intact. Now, here's the tricky part of this. Remember, a stands for a number. So this natural log of a, this just represents a constant. So if I take the derivative of this whole thing, this will just be the natural log of a. Okay, cool. So we're actually almost done now. So remember, this whole thing equals this. We have this, this relationship here. So I can replace now this e to the x times the, na times the natural log of a with a to the x times the natural log of a. So there you have it, that's my derivative, cool. So now let's talk about how do you take the derivative of log base a of x. Well, once again, we're gonna state uh, another property here, or this is actually a formula. So this is the change of base formula, so I can always rewrite any logarithm like, like this, and I can split it up like, like this. So what I wanna do is I wanna replace log base a of x now with that natural log of x over the natural log of a. And I want to do it like this because I know the derivative of the natural log of x. So if I take the derivative of this, so this 1 over the natural log of a is really just a constant, so I can just kind of set it to the side for a moment. And then the derivative of the natural log of x is just 1 over x. And uh, so boom, we're actually done. So this is going to equal 1 over x times the natural log of a. And so there's my derivative. So just to recap, these are the two derivatives that I have added on to our uh, rather lengthy list in this video. So um, just to give you a second to maybe practice them, so I have just two problems here, very straightforward derivative problems, so you can practice. So you can pause the video here and then hit play when you're ready. So to find the first derivative, so this is just really as simple as, as plugging this into the formula. This will just be 3 to the x times the natural log of 3. So no problem there. And then for this other one, so if I'm trying to find y prime, so now I have to use the chain rule. So this will be 1 over, so where there was that x, now I'm going to replace it with 3x plus 2 times the natural log of 5. And now I multiply all of this by the derivative of this innermost function. So this can be a little tricky to think through sometimes. So the final answer here will be 3 over 3x plus 2 times the natural log of 5. So I have more examples of this if you're, if you're looking for more complicated ones. So check out some of my example videos, but those are the basics. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.